Did you know that you can encode your own biotransformation reactions in MedChem Studio in MedChem Designer? Hello, I'm Mike Lawless, and in this short video, I'll explain how to encode a customized glucuronidation reaction. Here's an example of a biotransformation reaction where the hydroxyl group attached to the fluorine ring is glucuronidated. Several isoforms of UGT catalyze this reaction, according to a review article by Sorridge et al. I'll first show how to create an in-place transformation in MedChem Studio by encoding the reaction in MedChem Designer, our freely available chemical structure drawing software. The transformation can be exported to various file formats. RxN files are supported by AccelerusDraw and ChemDraw. Thus, these packages can also be used to sketch the reaction. I have read several phenolic containing molecules into MedChem Studio. We'll start with this top compound, which was part of the slide I presented. Uh, perform a right mouse button click and then select Modify Selected Transform. This brings up the Reaction Transformation dialog box. I'm going to click on the Sketch tool to bring up MedChem Designer. And I'll sketch in the reactant, which is the phenolic group. Uh, so I'll specify a hydrogen. The way I'm doing this is just highlighting the atom and then um, hitting an H on the keyboard. Similarly, I'll make that an oxygen, so this is the OH. And then we want an aromatic group here, so we're going to set that bond type uh, to be an aromatic type bond. So that's the reactant. Now I want to sketch the product, and I'll use the arrow to indicate that now I'm going to work on the product, which will be on the right side of the equation. Again, I go back into the bond um, drawing uh, tool, uh, click on the first bond, then the second uh, um, bond or to create the atom. Uh, so now this will, I'm going to make this the oxygen again by highlighting it and clicking on the oxygen, uh, the O on my keyboard and then defining this to be uh, an aroma uh, aromatic uh, bond. For the glucuronidate or glucuronic acid, I've already defined this as a template, so I'll simply click on that uh, template item and then add that uh, to the product. So now we've got our glucuronidated product on the right-hand side. I will use the uh, reaction mapping tool here, and I'm going to select one of the atoms in the reactant and then drag it over to map it to the, the product. And it automatically generates the uh, mapping between the three atoms over here on the reactant and what they will become in the product. Then I simply highlight the whole um, equation, right mouse button, click, and export. So here's where I can choose my file format. I'm going to choose the CRF file. Uh, one could also save it as a reaction file. This could be read into uh, the other drawing packages. Or we could have started with the other drawing package, specify the reaction, copy that to the clipboard, and then transfer it um, here. I'm going to give this a, a, a reasonable name. I'm going to call it AR. OH-glucuronidation and hit return. So that's created the CRF file. I transfer that back into the dialog box and that's encoded, encoded as a smirk string. Uh, then I simply click OK and it transforms uh, the product. Okay, now let's go a step further and apply the transformation in MedChem Studio to the other molecules in my CTK file. Uh, here I'm going to use the transformation that we created in the first step and apply those to the other molecules in the data set and this will save the products uh, into a file. So now I'm going to highlight the molecules that I want to apply the transformation to. I'm going to go up to the reaction menu and click on perform reaction uh, to bring up a similar dialog box. Now I'm going to browse to the uh, CRF file that we created in the previous step. Uh, bring that in and then I need to specify an output file and I'll uh, create that as a, a CTK file and um, uh, save it in the same directory. Uh, so click Save. Uh, 
this will um, the option here remove duplicate products will uh, remove any products that produce the same glucuronidated result and then I'll also display those in a new MedChem uh, studio window. Uh, so I click OK. It performs these transformations on these molecules. The transformed molecules are then displayed in a new MedChem studio window. So here's the temporary file that was created uh, from the transformation. So we have seven molecules uh, that are glucuronidated products. The first one is from this polyaromatic system. Uh, so the second molecule has another OH which could have been uh, glucuronidated, uh, and, but if you, since these are symmetry equivalent, uh, it only produces one product because I asked it not to uh, include duplicate products. Here's the nitrophenol, and then we have various products, or four products from the last molecule, indicating different, uh, you know, glucuronidation attachments uh, for the four unique hydroxyl groups on that particular molecule. The final demonstration will illustrate a phase two biotransformation. Metabolites are visualized in MedChem Designer by applying our SIP sites of metabolism models to a molecule. The appropriate sites are transformed using reactions encoded in the meta metabolite prediction.crf file. I have created a customized CRF file by adding our aromatic hydroxyl group glucuronidation reaction to the bottom of the metabolite prediction.crf file. I'll illustrate this phase two glucuronidation reaction using this particular molecule. So first let's look at what would happen by default uh, if I push the metabolite button within MedChem Studio. Uh, it would generate these two hydroxylation products uh, for the molecule and by hydroxylating these two positions here. Now what we want to do is use the custom file to produce this uh, product and then follow that with the glucuronidation. So we can specify the custom file by going into the change settings dialog box, clicking on the metabolite tab, and then clicking on the advanced tab, and this is where we would specify the uh, transformation rule. So I'll browse to the customized transformation um, uh, file that I've created. Uh, so this file was the original metabolite prediction, and then I've appended a new reaction to the very bottom of it uh, that specifies the glucuronidation. So I'll double click on that, and uh, then click OK a couple times, and then click on the M button. So now it hydroxylates in this position, and then glucuronidates that um, uh, OH group uh, in the final step. I hope this video has been informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at Simulations Plus. You can either call me directly or send me an email at mlawless at simulationsplus.com. Thanks for watching.